Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Champions League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. So this week I'm going to be looking at my team and going into the round of 16. This is pretty much my final draft, um, but I'm pretty certain that when I post this on my Twitter account, I'll get just like extra news. But I think the only thing that I will be doing is kind of like uh, changing players that are injured or not traveling and so on. So this is pretty much what I'm going to be going with. Um, but yeah, please check me out on my Twitter account. I'll put um, the link in the comments below. So yeah, I read all of the comments on my first draft video. I just want to say thank you so much, guys. Uh, you guys helped out a lot, uh, especially to FPL Penguin. It does a lot of uh, content on um, fantasy football and uh, Champions League. So shout out to him. Go and check him out. And yeah, I have made the adjustments. So, you know, the first draft is all about just... Just going ahead, picking the players that you want, and then later on, do that little bit more research and to kind of like adapt your team, right? To make the changes that you need uh, that is going to do well for you for the long run, right? So I did that, and this is pretty much what I came up with. Like I said, I just want to thank everyone that is, uh, gave me some advice. And uh, yeah, so let's just, let me just kind of like do this so you guys can see everything. So yeah, let's start with the strikers first. As you can see, I've got Suarez, Messi, and Lewandowski. Uh, Suarez is going to be a little bit of a differential of mine, over 5% owned, 9.9 .9 on the price tag. Uh, Suarez so got Chelsea at home, and Atletico right now is performing really well. Suarez is on form. I'm just going to like basically bring form players. Uh, Messi and Lewandowski, two amazing players. I I can't see myself going without them, so that's why they're in my team. Messi is going to be my captain for the first games. Uh, Lewandowski is going to help me out later on. I could even go with Suarez there. Um, so yeah, that's the front three. I can go with um, Ronaldo of Haaland, or maybe go for like that uh, 7 million um, player that isn't severe. But I think I'm just going to stick with this. Uh, for the midfielders, i got Olmo, um, Jorginho. To um, around that six million, yeah. I think Jorginho is six million as well, right? Yeah, six million players, perfect. Uh, eleven percent for him, and eight percent for Olmo. Both of these players actually takes a penalty, so that is good news. I'm not really expecting too much from them. Um, I'm mainly expecting a lot of points for my strikers and my defenders. As you can see, my defenders are quite. Um, quite attractive you know they're very attacking and they got a high chance to not only keep a clean sheet but even an assist or even a goal so that's the kind of the, the strategy that I'm going with kind of like big at the back kind of stuff and a little bit of uh, that mid price uh, midfielders so that's the strategy that I'm going with um, so yeah two penalty takers there um, Coleman I'm not 100% certain if I should have this player in my team uh, 8.5 you know if I have the money to go and get Salah I will do so then this would this team will look amazingly better um, but I'm going to stick with uh, Coleman for now going with that four um, Bayern Munich uh, players with Kimmich and um, Pavard which is definitely going to help me out as you can see Pavard is still, still 9% so that's low owned uh, Kimmich is uh, 24 so yeah, going with that Bayern Munich, going through to the next round, really. That's the like, like that's what the strategy that you need to look at as well. Uh, you know, you look, you have to look at teams that is gonna like progress, right, to kind of help you out uh, later on. And I got Angelino. Um, I have looked at, you know, where he's playing. He's playing in that uh, left midfield role. So thank you um, for that, um, FPL Penguin. So, yeah, that helps out a lot because he is an attacking player. It's just that when I was looking at the starting 11 in Google, I just couldn't see his name. So, I was like, where is he? But I just double-checked. So, yeah, definitely he's a fantastic option there. Um, I've got two Dortmund defence. As you can see, it's uh, a, a goalkeeper that is looks like it's going to be playing uh, 1% and 4.1. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I need to make sure that he is the main goalkeeper or they're not going to like rotate. But I think he is now that uh, the main goalkeeper in Dortmund is injured. So 4.1, perfect. And if he doesn't play, it's fine. Uh, I do have Edison on the bench. I went with Edison. 
to, to be honest with you, I would have went with a Manchester City defender, but with the rotation risk, I didn't want to go there. So I stuck with uh, Edison as my main goalkeeper and I brought in Gundogan in my team. Uh, I looked at the fixtures and, you know, they're not playing this week. They're playing next week. So by that time, Gundogan should be okay. And he's a fantastic option. And as you can see, that price tag of 6.7 is fantastic. Uh, I added Foden as well. It's a little bit of a risk, you know. I'm not certain that he's going to play every single game. But if he does, then that price tag and, you know, it's Manchester City. There is high potential of him actually getting some returns. And uh, I've got Savage in the bench there, as you can see. Uh, 4.6 from Atletico. So that is the team. I actually really, really love this. Going for that full Bayern Munich players there. It's, yeah, it's Bayern Munich and, and Manchester City. It's, it's actually quite balanced. The goalkeeper situation is fixed. Um, I got more threat, like more attacking threat in that defense. Um, and looking at that midfield is a little bit more stronger. Having like two um, players there that is around that six million taking a penalty is actually a bonus. So if that happens, then definitely, you know, that's going to help us a lot. And as you can see, the three big hitters up front, um, Suarez, Messi and Lewandowski. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm going to be posting my team on my Twitter. Uh, I hope this video has helped you. And uh, yeah, just let me know if there's any injuries. You know, if you hear any kind of team news or anything like that, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Have fun. See ya.